Hi. Lisa and I, do you want to be in the shot? No, no Lisa doesn't want to be in the shot. She's on the other side of the camera. She's very shy. Working hard. Working hard, but the producer behind the camera. Lisa and I are at uh, Cliveden House in, uh, what's the place? Chalfont St. Peter. Well, Taplow. Taplow, technically. Uh, just outside of London, you can hear the planes coming into Heathrow if you listen carefully. Uh, this was the original Astor Estate, uh, also where the famous Profumo Affair took place, if you're familiar with British history. You take a look at the gardens behind me. The place is quite spectacular. i show you a little bit of the house. Uh, there you get the idea. Oh, you yeah. better hurry, move quickly. <laughs> nope, there she is. Look at that. She yes. got in the shot anyway. Okay, there we are. So, as you can see, it's a pretty amazing place. And... Uh, we're here because, once again, we're working with the BFBS, which is British Forces Broadcasting Service. We've just finished the first day of our two-day intensive um, um, iPhone or smartphone video training course, mostly for managers this time, I think. But we've been doing this for about a year and a half with BFBS, and we must have trained over 100 of their people so far. And we're quite happy with it. The results, I think, are quite impressive from the phones. And having spent last week at the, oh, there's a bird. Having spent last week at the um, the uh, Mojo Con in Ireland, where we talked about the potential of iPhones being replacing conventional cameras and using them to make television, BFBS is a place where we're actually doing it for real, and the results are uh, quite astonishing. Tomorrow we're going to go back and. Uh, and do the, uh, for those of you who have taken our courses, the public praise, public humiliation, uh, screening of their one-minute videos. These are people who never touched a video camera before, and if we can get their permission, I hope we can, uh, we'll live stream part of the final screening so you can get a sense of what people can do with just two days training simply because our training techniques work better than anybody else's. We've been doing this for 30 years, and we've trained, we always say 40,000 people, but I think it's probably close to 50,000 at this point. Um, and they work. We know what we're doing. Uh, you can get broadcast quality in just two days of training. And, of course, the best way to do this, if you can't join the British military, which might be a considerable burden to pay, to pay a price to pay, to get a few days of training on a video camera, you can always sign up for the VJ.com, where you can do it for a lot less and get a whole lot more. We have 600 or so uh, training lessons. Anyway... Um, we're about to go down to dinner with Pat Young, who was uh, originally the president and uh, general manager of the Travel Channel, and we did a partnership with him several years ago called Travel Channel Academy, where we put people through the four-day intensive boot camp, and that worked out quite well as well. We believe, we're great believers in the democratization of television. That is that the power of television should be put into everyone's hands so that everyone can participate in making television the way everyone participates in writing novels or books or stuff like that. Of course, the tools are now available for it. The tools are the iPhone or the smartphone that you and 3.8 billion other people around the world have. The ability to broadcast live like I'm doing now, you don't have to work for the BBC anymore, get a satellite connection. You just put your iPhone up and there you go. And uh, that's pretty much it. So live from Cliveden, Cliveden, Cliveden House, Cliveden Manor House, just outside of London, the former estate of the Astors. These people certainly knew how to make a garden. Uh, Lisa and Michael saying goodbye until tomorrow, and be sure to check out the VJ.com. We think it's a pretty good site. See you later.